Please, huge round of applause for Michael. Super cute and neat. Oh, no. <laughs> George Washington High School. 2009 to 2014, room 128. I often reminisce about my time there. I have so many memories there. It was an incredible place. The hustle, the bustle, I kind of liken it to Times Square. It had that type of flair. Students were everywhere. If you could study there, you could study anywhere. Black girl magic was everywhere. We help students get to college there. A penny for your thoughts, an hour full of advice. Mr. Jennings, Mr. Jennings, can you uh, help me get my life? Mad respect to Times Square, Jazzy Bear, the legacy that we set there. To all the students that ever came through there, to live is to give. Time is all there is and love, love is all we need. Thank you for that lesson, Times Square. George Washington High School, room 128, the hustle and bustle. I believe they still call it the Future Center, but to me, it will always be Times Square. Our sole purpose on this earth is to make it better than it was the day before we were born. So I took this mission with me into George Washington High School. I just didn't know it would be so hard working with kids. There was everything from the absurd, Mr. Jennings. So you know, I know you talked to us about time, going to college, but Lil Wayne, he ain't finished college and he living big. So just talk to me about living big. There were things that made us cry. Mr. Jennings, my mother has cancer and we don't know if she's gonna die and I wanted to come talk to you. Mr. Jennings, she cuts herself and she finds inspiration in you. So when she thinks about cutting herself, can she call you? And there were times where we absolutely had fun and laughed, like when we sang old Negro hymnals for a whole period and just fell on the ground laughing. Or when the time I told juniors that you smell like old hot dog water and you will never go to college because colleges do not want people that stink. George Washington High School got a lot from me, but it pales in comparison to what I received from George Washington. And there's namely three things that came from a place of love from my students. First of which was Diamond, who would come in every day and say, Mr. Jennings, Mr. Jennings, have you eaten today? Have you eaten today? No, Diamond, do you not see all of these kids around me? I don't have time to eat. And then finally, at the end of the year, I was kind of like, Diamond, why, why, why are you asking me if I ate? She said, Mr. Jennings, if you don't eat, how are you going to take care of us if you don't take care of yourself? You have to love yourself before you can love us. And then there was Grace, who came into my room seeking advice about college. And I told her to go ahead and apply, and she got accepted. But then our worlds combined because my father died. Her father died a couple years earlier from cancer. And she came to me, she looked me in my eyes, and she said, Mr. Jennings, if you ever need to talk, I know I'm young, but I have been through the same thing that you have been through. Then there's a case of a young lady named Kameti Sara, who is like a daughter to me, one of the most creative and beautiful souls that I have ever met. And I was struggling one day, depressed, a little down, asking myself, why am I here? And she took one of my oranges, and I hate it when kids touch my fruit, so I was like, what are you doing? And she took her paintbrush, because she's a fabulous artist, and she drew a smiley face on my orange and set it on my desk and said, Mr. Jennings, I love you, and you make a difference in my life. As you leave here tonight, I want you to do a couple of things. First of which, if you are a teacher, tell your students that you love them. Or if you're not a teacher, find a teacher that made a difference in your life and tell them that they made a difference in your life. The first thing that I want you to go into the world tonight and do is take care of yourself and love yourself. Secondly, be a listening ear to someone because you never know how that will change their life. Because the conversation with Grace 
changed my life. And the third thing is small gestures are beautiful and can make a difference. When you go out into the world tonight, I want you to come from a place of love. Thank you.